The island of Sodor has many branch lines, one of which is Edward's branch. A kind green diesel works the line, along with Edward and the China Clay twins, Bill and Ben. His name is Boko. He gets along with many of the engines, and is respectful to everyone he meets. He works very well with others. Some engines dislike Boko, however, and don't find it useful. He doesn't mind it. One day, while Boko was waiting at the station, James puffed slowly in. He was feeling odd. Boko noticed this. Morning there, James. Everything alright? Hmm? Oh, yes. Just fine, Boko. I'm just tired is all. I see, said Boko. Well, I could pull that train for you. It wouldn't be a problem. James was offended. Ha! Huh, fancy that! A useless old branch line diesel trying to take my coaches. I was only trying to help, said Boko crossly. Ha! That'll be the day. James huffed, and he steamed away. Later that day, Boko was taking some cars to Wellsworth. Edward was there. Hello, Boko. How are you? He asked. Oh, hello, Edward. Fine now, I suppose. Everything all right? Edward puzzled. Oh, yes, said Boko. Earlier, James seemed to be in a bad mood, and told me off when I asked to help him with his train. Called me a useless old branch line diesel, he did. Haha, <laughs> well, chuckled Edward. James can be quite um, pompous at times, but never mind him. I remember when the big engines once said I had old grey wheels. Just remember you are useful and don't worry about what they say. You're right, Edward. Thank you. I'm not sure why I even let it get in my vents. Any time, Boko. Oh, I best get going. Wouldn't want to be late now. Goodbye. Boko continued on with his work. stayed busy, and did his best to get everything done on time. After the day's work was over, he had a rest. James rushed by with his coaches. He looked crosser than ever. Bogo watched him disappear into the distance. A few moments later, he heard the loud squealing of brakes. And he rushed to see what the trouble was. He went down the line, and sure enough, there was James sitting in front of him. Oh my, he said. James, are you alright? Uh, yes, I suppose so. James's valve gear had snapped, 
It was in need of replacement, and James hadn't gone to the works. Oh, I am a silly engine. Boker felt sorry for him. Well, that's alright, James. It happens. I can take you to the next station and then the works if you'd like. James thought for a moment. Yes, Poco. I would very much appreciate that. And I'm sorry for my bad behavior. Poco smiled. Right then, let's get going. Poco coupled up to James, and the two set off. They arrived at the station. They were late. But the passengers were pleased. They thanked Loco especially. After that, Loco shunted James to the works. The two engines now get along well and neither spoke of useless branch line diesels ever again.